this is just the start of the investigation and the process and not the end. Today does not necessarily imply guilt. Developing right now, the FBI raid of several lawmakers' homes and offices. Since then, House Speaker Cameron Sexton says three employees have been put on administrative leave. News 4's Marissa Sulik was there at the Cordell Hall building today. Joins us now live to break this all down. Marissa. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, the biggest name from this morning's raid is former House Speaker Glenn Cassida. Now, FBI agents raided his home and his office early this morning. And since then, three employees have been put on administrative leave. But we're still pushing the biggest question right now, and that is why. No, I didn't become aware until this morning um, when I was woke up by 18 text messages. For Democratic um, so Congress no, Chair Vincent Dixie, this is not a familiar scene he's used to inside Cordell Hall. The shock of it all and the suddenness of it, especially with everything that's going on right now. FBI agents leaving offices with boxes of paper and other items. The offices of former Speaker of the House Glenn Cassida and State Representatives Robin Smith, Kent Calfee and Todd Warner. I think this day um, is a sad day for Tennessee and the General Assembly. Speaker Cameron Sexton explains it wasn't only offices. Cassida's home and Warner's business were raided as well. Three employees who work under lawmakers are now on paid administrative leave tonight. They include Holt Witt, the interim chief of staff to Speaker Sexton, Nadine Corby, the legislative assistant to Kent Calfee, and Carol Simpson, legislative assistant to Glenn Cassida. As being employees, um, they had search warrants, which does not imply guilt or innocence or anything of that nature. But since they're part of an active investigation. As for the representatives, because they are elected officials, they will stay put. It is never when when uh, any, of, uh, any of our colleagues are under investigation or put in a spotlight of any kind of federal investigation. There's no win for anybody in this situation um, because we're here to do the people's work. Now, Speaker Sexton says he got word of the FBI investigation shortly after he came into office. That was about three months ago. In the past half hour, we did get word from Witt's attorney saying that he, one of those now on administrative leave, will be participating in the federal investigation. Tracy.